A ball with a mass of 175 grams hits the ground at 30 meters per second and then it bounces back at a speed of 4.8 meters per second. Calculate the change in the momentum. Okay, so we know change in momentum is equal to mass times the change in velocity. Okay, or just that the mass times future velocity minus initial velocity. Okay, that is what delta t means. Okay, so now let's do our substitution step. Okay, first of all, mass is 175 grams. We have a problem. We need it in kilograms. So we simply divide with a thousand to get 0 0.175 kilograms. Okay. Then, do we know future velocity? Well, let's see. Future velocity must be the 4.8 because that comes after the 13. So 4.8 meters per second is my future velocity. Initial velocity was what it had just before it hits the ground. That's 13 meters per second. Okay. So let's go have a look at what do we get as the change in momentum. Okay. One more thing, okay, something that I actually almost made a mistake with is look there they say assume downwards to be positive. That means my final velocity is bouncing back upwards. So that must be in the opposite direction, so it should take a negative. I almost made that mistake. Okay. So don't make the same mistake as I almost did. Okay, remember that momentum is a vector so we still have to keep in direction in mind okay so change in momentum is equal to mass of 0 0.175 times okay now the change in velocity is negative 4.8 minus 13 okay and let's see what do we get so we get 0.175 times and then in our brackets let's put 4.8 it has a negative minus 13 close our brackets negative 17.8 is equal to okay and there we go rounding to two decimal places we get negative 3.12 it's equal to negative 3.12 2 and what is our units again for impulse it's exactly the same it's just a change in momentum so kilogram meters per second that's our units now do you notice how it's negative that means that I lost momentum and it makes sense because I lost velocity my gram stayed the same but I lost velocity so what formulas are we using we're using this formula where delta P is equal to mass times change in velocity. Okay, formula is a little bit different. We just took out mass as a common factor, but it's no, no biggie. So in here we have 0 0.175. Remember, we need to use standard metric units. Then we have our future velocity was negative 4.8. Again, don't forget that. Our initial velocity 13. Uh, going downwards and that seems to be it okay let's go and substitute into our formula okay we must type delta for delta so we'll type in that delta p is equal to 0 0.175 times in our brackets negative 4.8 minus 13 okay preview so delta P is equal to and we worked it out negative 3.12 kilogram meters per second power of negative 1 preview syntax is okay so then it's okay that there's a delta there okay don't worry about that okay delta P is equal to that and I'm happy